Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in this video, I would like to explain to you how you can filter your SharePoint lists or SharePoint document libraries. Now, what I'm talking about is, of course, filtering of metadata columns. And uh, in my opinion, filtering kind of makes sense when you have uh, metadata on your document library. If you have folders, um, you can still, I guess, do filtering, but there, are, there is really not a lot of filtering you can do on the system fields. Uh, when you have folders within folders within folders. So in my case, I'm going to concentrate uh, on a library that has some metadata. And of course, what I'm going to show you here uh, also works for SharePoint lists as well. So uh, in my case, I have this document library uh, that has some company policies. And this library has a few um, custom you know, metadata fields, custom columns I created, uh, an owner, author, and expiration date. And I have already gone through the upload and tagging of all the information. So what I would like to show you are a few ways on how you can filter uh, the information now. So option number one, um, you can actually, you know, click on the header, all right, of each and every column and pretty much, you know, filter by and, you know, you can choose um, a particular, you know, field and essentially it will filter it accordingly. So it's almost like an Excel um, kind of same idea, right? Uh, you can filter by selecting again the header right here, filter by, and again, you know, selecting whoever you want to select here. Perfect, and it will fil filter it accordingly. Uh, that's option number one, that's option number one. Uh, the other option, uh, which uh, is actually my favorite, uh, you can use this filter pane over here, this filter pane. Now, when you create, as you create your metadata columns, right, some of the metadata columns will automatically be added over here. So you see, I can already filter by expiration date. I even have modified date, which is an out of the box, you know, uh, metadata field. Uh, and then right here, I can also uh, filter by author. So here we go. Let's say I want to see just Mary's, you know, policies. Here we go. Uh, I was able to filter. Uh, however, however, uh, you know, look at this. Uh, I'm trying to filter by owner. Where is my column? Where is my column? I don't see it in the filters pane. I can filter it from here, but I want to filter it using this pane. What you need to do, what you need to do is very important. You need to pin this column to the filters pane. All right, so let me explain to you what that means. You need to click the drop down. So let's say you created a column, all right? Let's say you created your custom column. Next, uh, and this is a must, what you need to do is Click that drop down, column settings, pen to filter pane. Here we go. And let's see, I think I need to refresh my screen. All right, so uh, let's check it out. Here we go, look at this. My column now appears over here. And whatever the order of your columns uh, here on this list of library is here from left to right, uh, this is the order of the columns you will see here. So that's why I have owner, author, expiration date owner, author, expiration date, right? And you can clean it up. I mean, you can, uh, you see, I can pin this column if I want to, I can actually remove it just to keep it nice and clean. Uh, but that would be another option. That would be another option. So uh, again, two options available for you. Uh, you can use, you know, click on the header of the column, all right, and and, and filter using, um, you know, this technique, or you can click on this filter pane and pretty much, uh, you know, filter, um, any of the fields here. And again, if the particular piece of metadata, particular column is missing, you have to pin it first, all right? Uh, so that's all I wanted to show you in this particular video. Hopefully you learned something new. As always, happy to see you on my YouTube channel, as well as my blog, sharepointmaven.com. Thank you. Have a good rest of the day. Goodbye.